morning dear students of class 8 welcome once again to your computer class online computer classes for class 8 i hope all of you are keeping yourself free having maintaining the social distancing from others but at the same time you should not forget your studies now i am going to start chapter 2 from your book the chapter number is spreadsheet dear students if you click the ms excel icon on the desktop after a few seconds ms excel will start opening in this process so it's, it will come as microsoft ms excel 2010 starting then you wait for a few seconds after that the ms excel window will appear now in ms excel if you open it the different components of ms excel are given below now if you open ms excel you see ms excel window there are different components are present so we have quick access toolbar file button title bar menu bar then ribbon area name box default cell row header C tab all of you see where the C tab is present at the bottom by default three seats are present name as seat 1 seat 2 seat 3 but according to our choice we can change the name according to our need that is so and this is known as insert tab where I can add extra seats of my choice then comes so this whole where you see all these icons the total area is known as the ribbon area then we have this formula bar now in the formula bar you can type the different types of formulas then then we have this column header where it starts the name by the default name as column header vertical scroll bar horizontal scroll bar and insert tab just have a proper look of the different components because without the knowledge of these different terms or the components you cannot work further then one more diagram you see over here like cell referencing active cell cell pointer row column where we are trying to show the different parts of it and accordingly how to do the work now the cell pointer where the cell pointer is placed that particular rectangular box which is better known as a cell is known as an active cell where the user can enter data this is one of the important topics cell referencing means like in ms excel i can do the calculations automatically means like suppose you write the formula in one cell you drag the formula you just drag it with the help of the mouse the corresponding formula or the corresponding values will be copied so it saves our time like suppose you want to find out the average of your class now what i'll do is i or you will write the formula in one cell you drag it the formula will be copied and you will get the answer now the cell referencing are of three types one we have relative referencing absolute referencing mixed referencing now we'll see the definition of relative referencing now in relative referencing means when the formula is copied to a new cell the corresponding cell address changes with reference to the new cell address this is known as relative referencing it means it means suppose you write the formula of sum in one cell you drag it drag it automatically you will get the answer in the next cells next is coming as absolute referencing in case of absolute referencing means i want to keep the cell value of a, as constant this can it can be made constant by using this dollar sign now if you see in your book now if you see in your book here it is given the dollar sign is given here 
so this particular value will remain constant and then you drag it then this value will be calculated and you get the answer then the last one is coming as mixed referencing mixed referencing means it is a combination of relative and absolute referencing now if you see the if you see the example given in your book page number 27 now so here you see the dollar sign is written here also and here also and here also in the formula it is written in three places so the it is a combination of both absolute and referencing where it works together next topic is function one of the most important part of ms excel first is the definition of it now functions are predefined or inbuilt formulas used to perform different calculations it means that suppose the teacher tells you please find out the class average in each subject so this ready-made or predefined functions are there you have to apply those functions to get the answer now we'll see with the help of an example example one example one i have written one function as sum then i have given the range a1 colon a10 means in that column it will find out the sum and it will display it now in the function two parts are there one is the function name another is the argument parts separated this side bracket in between column example number two example to equal to sum I am writing these numbers. Now, so 4, 5, 7, 13. I want to find the sum of these numbers. Now, the sum of these numbers, so here also we have the two parts of their function name and the arguments. So, and after what the MS Excel it will do, it will find out the sum and again it will display it. Now, whatever the answer it is, also it could. Now, we'll see the sum. So, the answer is coming as 29. Now, so here I am manually doing the job of addition. Now, here the MS Excel it will do. It's And here you can write as many numbers in your in, as you like in that MS Excel. Now, we'll see some more examples of formulas given in your book please note it down first example is sum function let us define this function calculates the total of all the values of the specified cells and returns the result means it will find out the sum either of the individual numbers sum of a row or a sum of a column you have to specify the range range means initial cell address and the last cell address now here i have taken one example equal to sum 3 5 7 1 and you have to give the enter now ms excel it will find out the sum of its own and it will display the answer as 16. next second function is average so average, all of you are familiar with this term. So this function calculates the average of all the values of the specified cells and returns the result. Here also it acts in the same way. Now either it will calculate the average of a row, average of a column or the example I have taken here. Example, you have to write the function name starting with the equal to sign equal to sign is compulsory now i've taken these numbers three five seven one and you have to give the enter now what the ms excel it will do it will add divide by four because four numbers are there so sum 16 divided by four the answer will be coming as four only now next one is coming as the max function so let us define this function calculates the highest value. This is the most important, highest value of all the values of the specified cells 
and returns the result. So, means in a range, either it is a row or a column, so whichever is the highest value will be displayed. I have taken this example equal to max 3, 5, 7, 1. So, among these the highest number is 5 which is displayed. So, the highest number is 7 is displayed here. Next, fourth one, we are coming as the mean function. Mean means this function calculates the lowest value of all the cells and return it. We will take the example. Like in this 3, 5, 7, 2. So, the smallest number is or the lowest number is 2 that will be displayed as the cell. Now, dear students, another important topic coming as creating chart in MS Excel. Now, whatever the data you have created, like suppose it is your class, so many different subjects are there. You want to represent those columns, like maybe physics, chemistry, math, biology, in a form of a chart or a graphical representation. So this chart, definition of a chart is, chart is a pictorial representation of data to communicate information in a better way. System, different types are, we have column chart, line chart, pie chart, bar chart, etc. Now, this chart helps us to display the data in a more graphical way it becomes easy for the user to understand. Now, dear students, see in your book, one uh, graphical representation is there about the different courses. So, how many of them have got admission like 10, 11, 12 or how many students are interested? I want to represent this in a graphical manner. So, the steps are select the contents of the worksheet click the insert button from the ribbon area select and click the chart so for example we are selecting we are selecting the chart area so it will in step 4 it shows the different types on the right hand side dear students you see so many different types of graphs are there whichever you feel the best you can select so then select the specific option from the 2D chart. The chart based on the selected range of data will be displayed on the screen. Now you have to follow the steps. Now click on the chart area, click on the design button which is available on the ribbon. It will display different chart styles. Now here you see so many, this, suppose if you select the column chart also, under column chart we have the different subdivisions are there now after following the steps you see the graph will be represented in this way in a graphical manner the courses are shown in the x-axis the values are shown in the y-axis now after you select this column graph I can do further changes any kind of changes we can do or you want to add some information like click chart title select the above chart to display the title at the top now all these different types are there so here also you see different types the career courses are there select the best suitable whichever you feel the best now and according to your choice you can make the changes and in the final step thus the graph is ready with all information within the worksheet as shown above now so at the last step after making various kind of changes settings according to your choice we get the final graph at the last the next part is coming as editing data or the chart type it means that suppose you make some changes in this excel set like suppose you in increase or decrease these values like suppose for mechanical engineering class 10 admission numbers are 12 like suppose if you make the changes suppose you replace 12 by 15 and automatically that will be reflected in your 
graph. So you don't think that no, I make a change, again I have to create the graph once more, follow all the steps, no. That is the main advantage of it. You make the changes in the graph sheet or the electronic sheet, same will be reflected in the graph automatically. Now, here you see on the right hand side, you see so many different types of graphs are there which helps us to do the work. So we have this column, line, pi, bar, area, xy, stock, surface, donut chart, bubble, radar, all these different types are there. Whichever the graph you feel the best, you select. Now, dear students, so here we have all these objectives, true and false, fill in the blanks, then um, you have to write the function, then next is explaining, explain the meaning of the following functions, all you have to explain it, this definition, so this above part you should be writing in your book, the last part, definition, define, relative referencing, absolute, mixed, explain the following functions with yeah, so dear students you write an example for this and three more are there in three and four and short answers all you should write in your copy and the last is the write the steps which are very very important explain the meaning of the following functions all you have to explain it this definition so this above part you should be writing in your book the last part definish define relative referencing absolute mixed explain the following functions with yeah, so dear students you write an example for this and three more are there in three and four and short answers all you should write in your copy and the last is the write the steps which are very very important.